Holidays just don't hit the same anymore as an adult, especially as someone who moved to a completely different state where none of my family lives, I didn't know anyone, and now I have a really small group of friends, and all I really do is hang out with my boyfriend and my roommate. Holidays just don't be hitting, and honestly, I just didn't want to drive 10 hours up to see my family this weekend and my boyfriend's family was in town but they left today and my boyfriend's off work today so as an adult the only way you can really get something out of holidays is if you make it special yourself so today we are going to be doing a little coming of age moment and making a holiday fun even though i don't have my 40 family members i grew up doing fireworks with in my dad's backyard and happy fourth of july even though after you're watching this it's not the fourth anymore honestly the older i get i try not to make that big of a deal out of holidays because what's the point but I do think it's fun to celebrate a little bit. And it does feel weird to do like normal activities like edit a video on a holiday. <laughs> but I have to do it, so here I go. I put on a 4th of July shirt, classic old navy one, and I'm gonna go to the store, get stuff to have a little 4th of July night. I look kinda good in these glasses. Actually, I feel like these glasses make my eyes look like they're sad and like crying. We'll see how many people are wearing an old navy shirt with a flag on it. I've already seen two, plus me and Charlie. <laughs> Just got back from the store. I'm actually gonna take a shower because I pull hair and I'm all nasty and I wanna get kind of cute. We're not having anyone over other than my boyfriend and my roommate. So we're just gonna be vibing. We're making hot dogs, chips and queso, stuff like that. My whole life I've really struggled with putting a lot of pressure on certain days such as holidays like the 4th of July or an even bigger one like my birthday and then I usually just end up disappointed because things didn't turn out the way that I wanted and it wasn't like a Pinterest board and super fun and aesthetic and filled with lots of friends. But honestly that is not the reality especially when you're young and in your 20s it's just not how it goes. <laughs> We have all the goods in my terrible lighting kitchen and Charlie just made queso, which is literally my favorite. So, get some chips. Literally the best chips. Mmm! So good. Literally, this was my entire day. The rest of the night, we literally ate snacks. We played a few games, listened to some like quote unquote 4th of July music, and we watched the movie The Patriot. And that was it. That was the entire night. The next day was actually what I was more excited for. I was going to a potluck with my Bible study group, and we were just gonna kind of hang out and eat some good food, maybe play some games. And honestly, I think it made me realize the older I get, the less and less I like holidays because there's always so much pressure, and there's this idea that you have to like buy a bunch of stuff and spend money on decorations and certain kind of foods and all that which can be fun and I definitely like doing it when I can but it's not always the reality especially the more like smaller holidays and the older I get I realize that holidays probably won't be a huge deal for me anymore until I have kids. Um, I do think what's fun about holidays is that most people end up having off work so you get to spend the entire day with people you love and that's really what matters. But if you're anything like me and you didn't have a ton of people around and on the 4th of July you watched a movie and relaxed, that's okay. That's reality. That's life for some people and not every holiday is going to be the same. Not every day is going to be the same and you don't have to put a lot of pressure on a certain day. All that being said, I think it's still kind of hard for me to feel kind of lonely on those quote-unquote holidays like last halloween i actually had covid and i was at home by myself and i felt awful i felt like i was missing out on a bunch of stuff and i knew that like my whole family was going to a party that i was planning on going home for and i didn't get to go so it definitely can be really hard and i think it's okay to have those feelings but it just takes time to i guess get used to that and realize it doesn't really matter I was thinking some more about this idea of feeling lonely and like you're missing out on a holiday when you're not surrounded by a thousand people. And especially holidays where your entire country is celebrating it, it does feel a little lonely if you're not doing anything. But I think a huge part of this is one, I grew up with so much family around. Even in my one house, there were nine of us there. And a lot of times we had friends over. And then 
on holidays, even every Sunday, all of my cousins, aunt, uncles, grandparents would be over. So I just grew up always having like 30 plus people around anytime anything was happening. And now moving out into a new state away from my family, I'm realizing, wow, this is like a huge part of growing up is not being surrounded by 40 people like once a week. It's definitely been a transition and I've been getting used to it because I haven't lived in my hometown in two years. That's insane. And I've only gone back for Christmas. And not everyone's journey looks the same, but this is how mine is, so it's definitely weird. But another reason that it feels this way is because of social media, which made me think of this. Am I the only one that thinks social media is like dying? The more I'm on it, the more I hate it. And not just like, oh, I'm addicted to it, I need to get off of it. No, like I'm bored. Like that is bad, because I can scroll on TikTok for two hours. I'm like, wow, I'm just bored. Like I almost want to get back to long form media and I just want to see pictures of my friends. I don't want like the new Instagram Instagram is really throwing me off. I really don't like it. I just want it to be a fun place where people photo dump. Like I love photo dumps. And I think there's been this weird transition of social media started as just sharing and then it progressed into like the influencer world where everything looks perfect and aesthetic. And everyone realized that we want real. So then everyone started faking being real. So you be real in an aesthetic way. So then people still feel like it's not real. So. I don't know, for me, like my favorite type of content to watch right now is like super cinematic, like well thought out videos where people put so much effort into it and it wasn't just like pumping out content, which is more how I want to be on this channel, but I'm still trying to figure out how to do that and balance life and stuff. But I don't know, as far as the social media aspect, social media didn't even make me feel that lonely on this holiday because it's almost like no one cares about it anymore. I don't know if I'm the only one feeling this and I just didn't know what video to throw it in. I feel like this is fit. And I just want to wrap up this video with maybe a few tips and tricks based on the 4th of July and also other holidays that I've been alone on how to not feel like you're missing out. Like I said, most people have the holiday off, so fill your day with things that make you happy. Whether you want to just like go get some coffee, maybe take time to read, watch some movies that day, binge watch your favorite show, play some video games. If you can, even having one friend over will make things like feel a lot less lonely. Or even just take the day to like clean your house take a nap it doesn't have to be focused on this holiday but it's a day off so enjoy it do what you would do on a normal day maybe just go for a walk if you're in the same position as me and you don't live anywhere near any family you're new to a place you don't have that many friends I'm right there with you I got you we're in the same boat it's expensive to go home so we'll be in this boat together so if you're ever feeling lonely on a holiday just remember oh Sydney's probably also doing the same exact thing and who cares you know I don't know this video definitely isn't what I was expecting it to be but here we are I hope so some of you are relating to me and if you had a fun filled lots of people holiday good for you i'm happy for you that's it i will see you guys in the next one bye